Hey, hey, everybody, Sean Hatzel here with Get Lean in 12. And for those of you who aren't familiar with me, I am a 45 year old stubborn fat expert and a grandpa to three beautiful grandkids. And over the last five years, I've helped over 100,000 people with my products and services. And inside this video, I'm going to teach you how to carb cycle for faster fat loss. Uh, about Five or six years ago, I acquired a global license for a proprietary nutrition plan that was featured in new, two New York Times best-selling books, and it was called Macro Patterning, and that's just a fancy word for carb cycling. And inside this video, I'm going to teach you how to eat lots of your favorite carbs and never store them as fat, and how to use carb intake or carb cycling to actually increase your body's metabolism and your body's efficiency at accessing and getting rid of stubborn belly fat. There are three things that I'm going to cover inside this video to teach you how to carb cycle. This looks a little weird. This is a picture of your body and I'm going to explain this in a second. But the first thing you must do is manipulate your hormones. Second thing you must do is manipulate glycogen. If you don't know what glycogen is, it's just a fancy word for stored energy in your muscles and in your liver tissue uh, from carbohydrates that you eat. That way your body has readily accessible energy to use. Third thing you want to do is you want to avoid fat spillover. So in the typical American or the typical person's normal everyday diet, when you consume carbohydrates, you start storing it inside your energy tank in the form of glycogen. So what happens is over time, as you eat carbohydrates, your tank starts filling up. Well, if you're not consistently exercising or eating clean or manipulating your carbohydrates, it doesn't take very long until this is filled up all the way to the top. And then what happens is every time you consume a carb, or even proteins and carb uh, fats at, at times, your body now will spill over and start storing ugly fat. And that's where you start accumulating belly fat is because of fat spillover. Now, once you understand this, most people will turn around and they'll go low carb for a long period of time because they want to drain their energy all the way back down here. And then when you get to this point and you've depleted glycogen enough, now when you exercise or you eat clean, your body can readily access and come over here and burn fat as fuel. However, when you stay down here for longer than five, six, or seven days at a time, you suppress two critical fat burning hormones that are in here. Inside here is your bone, your tissue, and your hormones, and the two hormones are leptin and your thyroid. So what ends up happening is after five to seven days of carving down or going low carb, your leptin levels, which is your body's number one fat burning hormone, can be suppressed by up to 50%, and then your thyroid, which is the master gland of your metabolism, can be suppressed, and your conversion from T4 to T3 now all of a sudden is inefficient and you get metabolic slowdown. So when you combine metabolic slowdown with low leptin levels, now your body won't burn fat as fuel. And that's why you have to learn how to bring your carbohydrate back up into this area. And then a few days of the week, you can come down here, lower your carbohydrate, and come over here and burn belly fat. This is how you get the best of both worlds because after you carb up for a day or two, now you spike these hormones, you keep your metabolism cranking, and you keep the belly fat falling off. Now, there's a couple simple ways that you can use this philosophy and set up a diet schedule and exercise schedule based on this. The number one thing that we do is we use a deplete day, and then we use a carb up day. So a deplete day, you're gonna keep your carb grams, impact carbs, under 50 grams. Now when I say impact carbs, I mean just taking the carb count on a label, subtracting the fiber grams, what's left over is your impact carb count. So you're going to go low carb on these deplete days, and these are the days where you're going to perform high intensity cardio. Because what's happening is you're bringing your body down here, and then when you do the cardio sessions, you release the hormones that burn fat, and your body comes over here and can access stubborn belly fat. The second thing is the carb up day, and on the carb up day, if you're a female, you want to have around 100 grams of carbs. But if you're a male, you want to have about 150 to 300, all the way up to 300. It just depends on how much you weigh and how much muscle you're carrying. But at a minimum, I'd say 150 grams. So then what happens is, is on days where you don't do cardio or high intensity metabolic bursting, instead you're doing weight training or strength training, now you use a carb up day on these days. And by doing this, you spike these T hormones and you keep your body in a fat burning environment. 
Now, there's three specific times that are best to consume these carbs on your carb up days, and I'm gonna cover that in the next video. Uh, this entire philosophy that I just went over on carb cycling is actually based off of my best-selling nutrition product called Four Cycle Solution. And it basically takes you through four cycles that show you how to eat lots of your favorite carbs and never store them as fat. And completely transform your body. So somewhere around this video, you're gonna see a link to click or tap. You can click or tap that and learn all about it. And I'll see you in the next video when I talk about carb timing for faster fat loss. Thanks for watching this and keep going strong.